today's tutorial is going to be focusing on making someone else pay for your shopping cart. Now, before we get started, hacking is illegal. If you want to do any of these hacking activities, only do it in your own lab environment and not anywhere else. And of course, don't try to hack my website, loyalyangyang.com. So anyway, let's get started. So right in front of us, I have WebGoat. So WebGoat is a vulnerable web application system for us to do all our ethical hacking on. And this is a fantastic place for you to test, so particularly in this area of JSON Web Token tokens. All right, so here you can see the following. Refreshing a token assignment. From breach of last year, the following log file is available here. Can you find a way to order the books, but let Tom pay for them? All right, so here you get a following. Learn to defend your application with WebGoat, pen testing for professionals. And if you scroll down at the bottom, so what we're trying to do here is to make someone else pay for your shopping cart. And in this case, Tom is going to be our target. So what we can do now is go ahead and open up a terminal. And once you have terminal running, what you want to do is go ahead and launch Burp Suite by entering Burp Suite followed by N. So this would put it into the background rather than it being taking up space in your terminal. So here you got it. All right, we have the following Burp Suite Community Edition. Click Close for that. And we have the Community Edition. Click Next. Click Start Burp. So now that we are starting our Burp, so Burp is going to act as our interceptor so that we can see all the payloads. So what we can do now is click on the Proxy tab ensure the intercept is on, and you can see the following. No proxy listeners are running. So go ahead and click Enable, all right, click Edit. So now we're gonna change the bind to port to 9999, click OK, because we have port 8080 being used up by another service. Click OK on that. And once we're done, click back on the intercept and we can verify that intercept is on. So now the intercept is on, what we can do next is go back to WebGoat, go to the top right corner under Proxy Proxy, go ahead and select Burp Suite. All right, so in my case, Foxy Proxy Burp Suite now begins the interception process for it. So I can right click on to say, for example, the following get slash web goat service lesson overview dot MVC. And we can see the following, All right? Don't intercept requests for this directory because this constantly pops up whenever we are on web goat, All right? So I can go ahead and click forward for all this and it will stop popping up whenever we're going back and running all these tests. So we are doing a filter through Burp Suite. Next up, all right, going back to WebGoat, go ahead now and click Checkout. All right, go ahead and click Checkout, and we're going to following, okay? Post slash WebGoat slash JWT slash Refresh slash Checkout. So let's right-click and send over to Repeater. So now we can go back into Repeater, and we can see the following, and when I click Send, it stays the following, okay? So we got a JSON response as the follow, all right? Feedback, not a valid JSON Web Token token. Please try again. So what we are doing here, we're trying to inspect under authorization. And in authorization, we have barrel now. So we have an empty, and this is usually to be filled with JSON web token. So in this case, this is now, and in this situation, it's not going to be able to validate whether we have a JSON web token. So what we can do next is to go back into the website, go ahead and refresh it, go back to Burp Suite, okay, and click under the proxy tab. And let's just go ahead and forward whatever we want here, okay? Let's go in forward all that, okay? And go to HTTP history. So these are all the requests just sent from our browser all the way to web application service. And we can see as follow, right? Let's scroll all the way down. We can see a lot of the lesson manual.mvc, the lesson overview.mvc. So we're, go we're going to ignore them because they're not really part of the reasons why we're here. So going scrolling down, we can see the following, okay? We have refresh slash login okay so here we can see the following we have a request for the username as well as the password field so this result in a refresh so we can look at the response and here we've got it okay we go to access token as well as the refresh token so let's go ahead and copy it right click copy and we can open up your favorite text editor whichever you want to let's go ahead and click on it so in this case i'm going to copy and paste it over here so i've pasted it and we have the access token and all these different details so let's go ahead and copy the access token and we'll go back to burp suite and what we'll do now is go back to repeater and what we're going to do is to replace the null all right with the one that we have selected earlier so with that let's go ahead and click send and see what kind of result we get so you click send over here we get a following error user is not talking about jerry please try again okay so what's happening here let me explain a little more in detail so let's go back into the browser go to the top right corner and turn off 
the proxy. And what we can do is go over into JWT.io. And what you want to do now is go ahead and paste the JWT token that we have copied and paste it right here. So you can see the following. Okay, we got decoded and we have the following. We have algorithm HS512. We have the payload data, in this case, admin, FOSS and user Jerry, and we have verify signature. So this is a structure of a standard JAT token. And what we can do now is to manipulate it and change it so that we can reflect the user as Tom rather than somebody else, in this case, Jerry. So what we can do now is to use, say for example, base64 and code.org. And what we are doing here is to change the algorithm that is put in place. So the ALG is now changed to none. And once you have it, and you can click under encode, it will give us and produce to us right, the following result. And this is the result that we want to use to replace all right, the first section of the JOT token. So let's go ahead, do a right click, copy, and we can go back to Burp Suite, go under repeater, and we can change the first section of this, paste it over, and right here, so we replace algorithm of change it to none. The next thing we want to do now is to be able to change the user of it. So going back here, we can change the following user to top, and you can see the update that is being reflected on the payload data. So with that, we can right click and copy this, and again, go back to the interceptor, all right, change it right here to second component, all right, paste it over, okay, and now the final part is that we no longer need the signature. We no longer need to do a verification process of it because the algorithm now is none. We're not using any algorithm for it. So what we can do is go ahead and remove the last section of it. And with that, all right, we've completed the entire JOT token. We have manipulated it successfully. And all you got to do now is in three, two, one, go ahead and click send. Congratulations you have successfully completed the assignment. And what I can do now is go ahead and copy this, all right, copy the entire request, go back to proxy, all right, under intercept. What I can do now is go back into the browser, go to the top right corner, select Burp Suite as the interceptor, go back to web code, all right, scroll down further. I click checkout, we have an interception here. I can replace it entirely and I can click forward and once we go back to the browser, you can see the bottom. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the assignment. So this demonstrated really quickly how we can manipulate the JSON Web Token token and be able to use another user to check out from a shopping cart. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. Remember like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.